A properly rolled out pierogi dough makes a very big difference in the end product. In the first clip, you see a member of the Warsaw Slow Food Organization teaching a couple how to properly roll out a pierogi dough. Note in these videos that the rollout process involves putting the rolling pin in the center of the dough and rolling to the outer edge. When you are rolling the dough, you are kneading it. And kneading a dough makes it tougher. So you want to minimize the number of times that you apply the roller to a dough. Rolling from the center uses the fewer strokes. As you work the dough, it will get tacky, and you will probably have to add some flour to the surface in order to roll it out. But as it gets thinner, it is best only to add flour between the dough and the rolling bench, and to avoid adding flour to the top of the dough. You want the top of the dough to be flour-free, so that it is easier to create an effective seal. Always remember that people eat pierogi for the filling and not for the dough. So rolling your dough very thin is important. You see a properly rolled dough held up to the light. That shows you how thin that dough is. Also note that the dough held up for you to look at is very elastic. The dough is chasto parzona or blanched dough, a dough made with boiling hot water. The recipe is available through the link below. I do hope that this video has been informative. If it has, I would appreciate your clicking on the thumbs up below. If you have any questions or need other information, please contact me by leaving a comment in the box below.